Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Limbo. Let's get gravity. The first elevator. Killed the mood. Right, so we have some business to attend to. First of all, let's check our surroundings. Ooh, not going that way, though. No, no, first I want to do this. See? Exactly what I wanted to do. No, no, no. Instead, let us go and find a crate if I can. There should be one around here somewhere. Or not. Guess it's all in this new puzzle. Fine. I'll play your precious game, Limbo. Show me what you got. I need to find a crate, and quickly. Oh. I get it now. That crate looks like a real contender. Thanks. And now to shield myself. Bingo. Easy with that gun there, jeez. Thing's freaking deadly. Now for the tricky part. Check what I have to do. I forgot I need to have it have momentum. Perfect. I have a crate. I got what I wanted. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, right now, nothing. I've gotten what I came for. So, let's take this other crate and use it for its second intended purpose. Because, yes, it does have a second intended purpose. The path I originally did not want to traverse, I, I now may. How about that? Onward and upward. Watching out for bullets on the way. There's one crate. There we are, you'll do nicely over there. But what about that second crate? Well, you may have noticed where I pushed it. It was below an area where... Oh. You yeah, know, we're still... It was below an area where the ceiling slanted upward, so it actually came to me. As huge as this room is, it's still all one big puzzle. Genius. And now I have the two crates that I need to solve this last puzzle of the room. Check this out. That'll do. And now I patiently wait. Go. Nailed it, almost. There it is. How about that action? That's one of the harder puzzles in the game. Fortunately, I already know how to do it. This one is fascinating. Doesn't do anything for me, right? Here's what I need to do. I believe it was Magnodon. And then... I quickly turned it back off. This thing on my left here started at a higher altitude, so it was closer to the ceiling, which is also magnetized. So it now stays up there. 
This guy on the right started at a lower altitude, so I didn't let it get past the halfway point, so it stayed down. This is also a puzzle that took me freaking forever to get the first time I played this. But now what? Check it. Nope. Okay. There. Perfect. Oh god. Yeah! I'm good at this game. Fortunately, the game knows that I'm a dumbass and it spawns me right here because it figured I'd die in a stupid thing like this. There it is. And I better get off now. Because that would have hurt. Also, how about that side gravity? I'm gonna die. Yep. I think it spawns me right here anyway. Yep. I'm going to die. Yep. I have to time that just right. It's every three seconds. Hurry. Oh, I almost jumped that. You saw me fly in the air. This should do it. Perfect. There. But we're not done yet. Whew. Again with that crazy hotel action going on. What do you think of that? Even now I'm on the O. With an abyss to the left. Moving on. I was grabbing the damn box. That's not even cool. Well, you see what I have to do. There we are. Press it again. Repeat the process until safe. How about that? Oh, I'm gonna die. I should have kept running. Ew. I was waiting for I was waiting for the thing to drop to me to sort of safe place and I all of a sudden realized wait there's no safe place. You know, like that. Well, at least the part where I start dying a lot is like at the end of the game. Here we are. By the way, it's hard to see, but even the faded stuff in the background is responding to the gravity. It's really creative. Oh! Barely made it. Oh, we're almost done. Yeah, we're no longer in control. Easy. Easy. Got it. Jeez, that's no joke. Right. Close. Close. You see what I'm doing. Oh, ooh, ooh. that was close. Okay, easy now. That was really close. And now for the moment of truth.
Oh, 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 I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Okay. I gotta get used to the jumping controls. There. Not quite. I have to overshoot it. Nope. I mean, that's disgusting, but not what I wanted. And that's the exit, too. It's sitting right there. Not quite. Oh, the fall killed me. Man, you really have one shot. Got it. We're not done yet, are we? Does this perhaps look a little bit familiar to you? We can play. And the end of the game is nowhere to be seen. This is exactly like the first area of the entire game, so the question is... Did we loop? This is about the point where you might say, Oh, I get it, and then turn off the game. But there's one more thing to check out, if only for confirmation's sake. She's definitely alive this time. And not just a dummy. Remember, we saw the living version that disappeared on us, but the very first version of the sister we saw was just a dummy. But this time, it could be real. Now isn't that interesting? It looks like we got to the end after all. Where are we? What is anything that's going on? I still don't know. But that's something of a fascinating ending. At least we got what we came for, you know, we, we found our sister. Are we gonna leave together? Are we gonna hang out over there? If we leave, where would we leave to? I don't know. But at least there's satisfaction to be had in that we managed to meet each other once again. I've said this repeatedly, but the sound design in this game is freaking amazing. 
just you start to think that things are sound effects of just the basic puzzles, but they're also indicative of when certain puzzles start and stop, as opposed to just the effects produced by them. Like the gravity action at the very end of the game almost produced like a musical tune regarding when to start and stop with the uh, the switch pulling. And you'll also notice that, by the way, we have left together. On top of the sound design, the visual design is very interesting. It's subtle, but it really conveys a mood very well, of almost a dreamlike quality. Most things in the background are very hazy, and you have stuff like the rain and the flies buzzing around that add just enough personality to this place to make it look like you're not walking through a desert. This game is relatively short, especially if you know what you're doing, but brilliantly designed. I love it. Well, we've done it. We have beaten Limbo. This game is a lot of fun. It's very atmospheric, very entertaining, surprisingly intense when it comes to some of the puzzles and what happens to you if you fail them. Those buzz saws are freaking brutal. But in the end, it seems that we found who we were looking for. Speaking of which, one interesting thing about that, uh, Mr. Futago87 pointed out to me that according to the original, the actual developers of the game, there is no story. The blurb about a boy trying to find a sister might have been added to the Steam uh, and Xbox Marketplace because you can't just have a blank box in the description of the game, so they had to cobble something together. And honestly, I find it more appropriate to not have a story. Wake up in a forest, go to the right, see what happens. Really, the game kind of explains itself. Maybe not to the degree that you know who you are and who the person you're looking for is, but at the same time, the game tells you everything that it really needs to for the purpose of getting you to move forward. Everything is conveyed through gameplay, and it does an expert job of that. The developers did a killer job with, again, the visuals and the sound design. Both of them contribute to each other to create a fantastic product. I said most of what I was going to say in this vlog section here in the uh, credit section of the actual LP, so I don't want to repeat myself too much, but I had a lot of fun with this game, and it's just as fun as I remember it from when I first played it. So without further ado, thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play, and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing the game myself. Thank you once again to Roller42 for gifting me the game on Steam, and special thanks also to the people who submitted title cards to me. So in order of submission and therefore order of appearance, thank you very much to Michael Black, Roller42, Kittysa, and Dracologist. And thank you all once again for watching. This has been an entertaining experience. Until next time, everyone.